Okay, so let's jump to this video and talk about working with our launch control in our Megasquirt 3 firmware. So when we're at the drag strip, we need to use a two-step rev limiter in order to go in and launch our vehicle properly. So we find with the Megasquirt 3, we have the ability to do our two-step or launch control and we have the ability to do a flat shift feature. Now the flat shift is going to allow us to do full throttle shifting on a manual transmission car. Now in addition to this, we're going to find that with our launch control in our configuration, we have the ability to then go in and have a time-based ignition retard if we have a drag application where we're going to find as soon as we come off the launch control, it's going to start a zero timer and then we're going to be able to alter our ignition timing and retard the ignition timing when we launch and then bring the power back in as we go over in time. We're also going to find that we have the ability to have a variable launch control. So if we have a trim pot fitted to our vehicle and we've wired in, we can have different click positions, have a different range of two-step values. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that, as well as taking a look at trans brake settings and throttle stop and a three-step rev limiter if we want to have a rev limiter that's going to be below our main rev limiter when we do a burnout. So say our main rev limiter is at 9,000 and we don't want to do burnout right on our main rev limiter. We could set a three-step burnout rev limiter at something like 7,500 or 8,000. So we're coming to a lower limiter and not taking the engine all the way out to that main rev, rev limiter when we do our burnout. Now, in addition to all of this, we find we also have a speed-based limiter. It's gonna be a ground speed limiter. If you're familiar with working with standalones like MoTeC or in an AEM, it would be called a three-step rev limiter uh, for the Infinity or the Series 2. It's gonna be based on our ground speed if we have that wired into our vehicle, and it's gonna allow us to have a, a, a multi rev limiter based on the different positions of the ground speed changing. So it's going to essentially act as a traction control. It's extremely easy to be setting up. I'm gonna show you how that works and how we can use that instead of the launch control feature. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our launch control and our Megascort 3 firmware build. So the first thing we'll do here to take a look at our launch control, move into advanced engine and move down here to launch, two-step, three-step, and trans brake. Now when this window pops up here, we're gonna be doing all of our programming for launch control. Now up top here, we have launch control option. We can go here and select either launch, just having a launch control only, or launch and flat shift. So flat shift's gonna allow full throttle shifting. So we have the ability to go in and choose either or. So what we'll do right now is just choose launch and we'll come back into our flat shift option and talk about it. So we can see here under launch, we have to have an input. So our input here is gonna be where we're gonna be selecting, usually a clutch switch in order to make this work. So we can see here digital four is selected as our input that we would have our clutch switch wired into. Now this is going to be a ground input. So if you have a clutch switch mounted onto your clutch pedal, you'll be taking one leg of that clutch switch and you'll be going to chassis ground 